Welcome, in front of me I have Oppo Watch X2 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the uh, all health application, this one. And once the devices are paired together, we can continue. And now we can open the all health application on the phone that is paired with our watch. In the app, we can tap on device. And here you should see your Oppo Watch X2 on the page. Now scroll down and look for the option called notifications and tap on it. Oh, apparently we have already the permissions for the notifications, but Sometimes you don't have the required permissions for it to work and you will see the pop-up on the screen. If you see the pop-up, tap on... Uh, I don't remem remember the option, uh, but actually, let me actually quickly go to the required page. So the permission that is required is called uh, apps or and notifications, uh, allow notification access, something like this. Uh, on every d version of Android it's called differently for some reason, I don't understand it. For example, on this one it's called notification, read, reply and control. And basically you have list of allowed and not allowed. And usually if you don't allow the required permission, the all health application will be on the uh, not allowed list. And what do you need to do is to basically find it on this list tap on it and tap on allow notification access and if you don't have the required permission like I said before uh, before you open the app uh, it should re redirect you automatically so if you tap on notifications it will show you this pop-up and you can tap on turn on and it will basically allow you to enable the permissions automatically so you don't need to look for it in the settings this is the more convenient way but if you're looking for it in the settings like I said before, it's going to be called device and app notifications or a co a notification access. It will be in the notifications and sometimes it's hidden in the uh, notifications page right here or it will be hidden in apps page. So uh, you need to go to special app access and it will be somewhere here. As you can see, it is here, right? on the page and you can tap on it and like I said before you need to tap on all health and allow the notification access okay and that's once you allow the required permissions you should be able to customize the settings for your uh, notifications so go to the notification page and here you can uh, turn on or off the notifications for the apps on the watch so if you don't want to receive the notifications from the apps on the watch you can turn them off you can turn them on and you can customize which apps are able to to see, send the notifications on your watch. You can turn them on or off for specific apps. Next, we have the notifications from phone and here you can turn them on or off. And then you can turn on or off specific options like silence incoming calls on phone, silence notifications on phone, when not wearing device, uh, <coughs> when phone is unlocked, don't sing silent notifications. So this option, basically it will silence the calls on your phone if the notifications are enabled and basically the watch will vibrate and make a sound when somebody is calling you on your phone. Next we have the silence notifications on phone, same, same option but for notifications, so notifications on your phone won't make any sound, but it, they will on the watch. Next we have the um, when not wearing device, when this option is enabled and you're not wearing your watch, you won't be receiving the notifications on it. And when this option is enabled, if you're using your phone uh, and you see the notifications popping up on your phone, they won't pop up if the screen is turned on on your phone. So if this option is enabled and the silent notifications, basically it won't uh, show you the silent notifications from your phone. And then we have manage app notifications. And here you can basically enable and disable notifications for specific apps on your phone, of course. And if you disable them, they won't pop up on your uh, watch, but they will still pop up on your phone. If you enable them, it will pop up on both devices. Okay, and once you're done customizing the settings, we can open the Discord because I'm going to test it with Discord and I'm going to send myself a message. And we got the notification on our phone. Let's check our watch. And we didn't get any notification on our watch for some reason, which is interesting. So I'm going to open the all health application. The watch is having problems with connections. That's why. Let's try to reconnect it.
Is it connected now? I think it's connected now. Let's try sending the notification again. Now I'm not receiving the notifications from Discord, which is very interesting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reboot my phone and reboot my watch because something is icky with the Bluetooth for some reason. So I'm gonna reboot both devices and I'm gonna come back to you. Okay, I rebooted both devices and let's see if now it's going to work. Let's see the Bluetooth status. It says it's connected. Okay. So let's test it out. Discord is working, I believe. Yes, it is. So I'm gonna send myself another di message on, disc on Discord. And still, we didn't get any notification from Discord for some reason. I'm not sure what's happening. Is the Do Not Disturb mode enabled? No, it's not. On the phone, it's also not enabled. So for some reason, the watch is interfering with it. And I don't understand why. Is it because of some permissions? Maybe. Let's check the permissions for the app. I mean, most of the permissions are enabled or allowed rather, so it should be working. <laughs> it says it's connected. On the watch, it says it's connected. The notifications are enabled, right? Yeah, sync for notifications, it should be working. So why is it not working? Uh, let's try again. Yeah, the Discord is not popping the notifications up for some reason. Um, let's try turning off Bluetooth. And turning it back on. Okay, connecting on. Watch connected. Let's try again. I'm just gonna write some gibberish. Oh, we got the notification on our phone. Let's check our watch. We didn't get a notification on our watch. Something is interfering with something and I'm not sure what. Oh, okay, I can see now. Uh, I am a bit... Uh, not smart, <laughs> a bit stupid. Um, this option needs to be enabled if you're not, uh, if you're using your phone. So this option is when the phone is unlocked, sync notifications even when your phone screen is unlocked. So now it should be working. So if I type in something, I get notification on Discord. I should get it on the watch as well. Okay, so that was the problem. I just didn't read it, read it correctly. Uh, I apologize for that, my bad. Anyway, so it is working and that's how you enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.